Hello guys, welcome back to Tell Real Channel on YouTube. So in this video, I am going to show you on how to get two Arduino board communicated to each other. So today board, we are going to use the ESP8266, the Wi-Fi module and the Arduino Uno. So most of you guys have searched on the internet about the communication on how to make these two board communicate with each other. but the result is that there are only a few that talk direct directly on how to manual set these two to communicate with each other. So today we are going to talk about this and I'm going to do some code about how to get these two communicate with each other using the T TX T TX pin and RX pin, the transmitter and receiver pin. So Let's get started with the code. Okay, now I have my Arduino IDE open and ready to be coded. But I don't really code inside this IDE, but I have the, the other software that allow me to code. It is called Sublime Text. So here I have the Sublime Text open. So as we know that we are going to code on two modules. One is the Arduino Uno and another one is the ESP8266. So I'm going to create separate separate tape to save two separate files. So this one is going to be for Uno and this one is going to be for ESP8266. So in this process we are going to use the ser software serial to communicate two different board it's Uno and ESP8266 so all it do is it need two different pin the RX and TX it's up to us to define and I also have the picture the image showing the pin that need to be connected so on the Uno part we got pin 3 and pin 2 and ESP8266 is DO3 or NDO2 so now let's get the code done so now we have to define the first one is the header of the software serial. So let's define it by include software serial dot h. And then we are going to define the pin that we are going to use on the Arduino Uno to communicate with ESP8266 so we define the pin now with software serial so here we are going to give the name to the pin I gotta name it Arduino Uno Arduino Uno and the pin as we see is that we're going to use the pin 3 and pin 2 3 okay the pin 3 and pin 2 okay so now we are done defining the pin to communicate on the Uno so we're going to get into setup we're gonna type in void setup okay so now we are going to define the board thread to let the Uno to communicate to the computer to read the value and the communication process so we're going to start the serial talk to computer by the by define serial dot begin and we are using the board rate of 9600 don't forget this one okay And we also need to define the baud rate for the Arduino to communicate it with ESP8266 as well. So this is how we define Arduino, Arduino, you know, dot begin and we give it a 48,000 
okay so now we're done defining and setting up so let's get into the loop the part where everything gonna work so we define it inside loop by void loop and then we're gonna say while Three. so I'm gonna get back and explain for you so now I'm gonna code it first Arduino while Arduino you know dot available he is bigger than zero then we're gonna create a float value let's say value equal to Arduino, you know, dot pass float. Okay, and then if the Arduino, you know, dot read is equal to this text then print this out serial dot print ln and while do And then we're gonna delay this for 30 nanosecond millisecond. So now we're done coding the Arduino Uno part. So here's what I'm going to explain. So while Arduino available bigger than zero, in this case it means that if the serial communicator sent into Arduino is bigger than zero, the data that send the data that is not sent is gonna equal to zero. But if there is any data that sent to Arduino, so it's gonna be bigger zero, bigger than zero. So when the data that is received by Arduino is bigger than zero, then we're gonna make a float value and we're gonna pass the data sent into Arduino by using Arduino.PassFloat and pass the value to this float value so now we have the data stored inside while float and then if the Arduino.read equal to this text then it will be execute the process and print out the value that the Arduino you know received so now we finish the Arduino Uno part. So we're going to code the ESP8266 part. Again, we need to define include. Software serial.h. And then we also need to include the ESP8266 Y5 header because we are using the Wi-Fi module so we need to define the header of the Wi-Fi module in order to identify the entire process and then we're gonna define the software serial the pin on the module so we're gonna make it software serial and then we're gonna name it as ESP8266 and the pin that we are using is the D02 and D03 D02 so we're gonna D2 and D3 
and then we get into void setup. So again, we are doing the same process by defining the board rate. Gonna make it serial dot begin nine six hundred, and we are defining another board rate for both device to communicate it. So it must it have to be on the same board rate to communicate between two devices. So a two sixty six dot begin four hundred. Okay, like that. And just because we are on the ESP eighty two sixty six Wi Fi module, we have to uh, we have to define the pin that we are using as an RX and TX as an input and output. So let's define it. Say ESP. No, it's a pin mode. D two gonna be input so this is gonna be input we just mean a receiver and then pin mode for D3 gonna be output so this part is declared as transmitter so now we are done setting up the process so we are gonna coding on how it works so this is the white loop and inside the white loop we're gonna say uh, ESP8266 dot print say 10 10 like that and then ESP eighty two sixty six dot print ln and then we underlay it for ten or maybe thirty. Okay. Let me so let's again let me explain all the process again. So here we have the software serial. We're gonna define the pin where is where it is the ORAC and TX pin for EHP ESP8266. And then we have a serial begin for the module to communicate with the computer. And here we have the module begin where the board rate have to be the same with Arduino Uno to let the two module communicate. And then we have to define the D2 and D3 as an output and input for transmitter and receiver. And in while loop in here, we have ESP8266 dot print, which is mean that this value need to be sent through the serial software serial protocol to the Arduino Uno. So ESP8266 gonna print number 10 as a message to the UNO code in here and then it print another text in here so when the Arduino UNO receive this text it will execute the process and print out the value of this one so let's get start with the hardware part okay guys so now I have just had this two board connected and upload the code into both module so I am going to start and make the connection for you guys and we're gonna check the serial monitor together so here I got it you know and the Wi-Fi this two code I, I have already compiled and upload into the board this you know and ESP8266 so now we are gonna get start with the wiring part so now let's connect this one okay we have it on so here is the pin down here is the Win and GND so we're gonna connect it the black gonna be go to GND 
the white one gonna be we in. Okay, so now let's say the gray one is going to pin number three, and the purple one go to pin number two. So here we got the module, our module right here. So we're gonna connect the black one into GND. Here you can see GND and Wein. So we're going to connect the black into GND. GND and the white go to here. So the module is powering now. You can see the light is blinking. So the module is working. So now we're going to connect the purple one that is pin number two of the you know going to the D2 of the ESP8266. So this is D2 and the gray one go to D3. Cool, so now we are connected. So, so you can see the LED is actually blinking. Here you can see the RX is receiving. It keep blinking because the module of the Wi-Fi has constantly send the data to the you know so let's check the serial monitor so we're going to open the serial monitor so we have selected this is the you know port that I have connected to my computer so let's see the serial monitor Okay, so we have our data sending. So here we have Wi-Fi, written 10, give the value to I, and the node MCU on the Wi-Fi, constantly send the value of I and the text in here. And then, when the UNO you know, receiving the value of I, it stored inside the value float in here. And then when the you know again receive the text like this, it execute the code and print out the value number. So this is how you make two board the you know and ESP8266 communicate to each other using software serial. And I hope this video will have a lot. And also please subscribe to get even more coded video and some other solution on technology and thank you for watching bye for now